Greetings Ghost Gain, welcome to another indie horror game. Today we will be playing Night Reception. Links and details to this will be in the description below. So, let's just hop right into it, shall we? It was just another regular shift for me, you know? Checking guests in, finding their rooms, and making sure they were settled. Nothing out of the ordinary, except I wasn't in the best mood that night. I had a fight with my girlfriend before heading. She was upset, saying I work too much, never have time for us. Honestly, it felt like just another argument. I figured once the night ended, I'd smooth things over. As usual, the guests arrived, and I did my job. Greet them, pull up their reservation, and guide them to their rooms. Simple, right? But that night, there was something different in the air. Maybe it was just me, but greet them, pull up their reservation, and guide them to their rooms. Maybe it was just me, but I couldn't shake the feeling that something wasn't quite right, and it turns out I wasn't wrong. Okay, and here we are. Oh, dude, can I play basketball? Can I increase the... Uh, I, don't, I didn't see an option to increase the mouse sensitivity. Uh. Yay! Hey, I got a sound effect there. Cool. Alright. We'll meet them, greet them, and eat them. Got a knife. Can I do something with that knife? Hello, sir. Good evening. The name's Victor Von Doom. I've booked a room for the night. Of course, Mr. Victor. Follow me. I'll show you to your room. Thanks. Been traveling all day. I hope the room's comfortable. No, I got nails on the bed. Uh, is that... Victor. Room number six. Okay. I was wondering if there was a certain room. Come with me if you want to live. Is it this way? No. Oh, God, what happened to your head? Ah, gotcha. Number seven, one, two. Oh, if seven's up there, then six is all the way over here. Five. Six. There you go. You got a nice TV right here. You got a bed. You have bathroom. Okay, bathroom is being renovated. Here we are, Mr. Victor. If you need anything or have any complaints, feel free to call the front desk. Thanks. I'll let you know if I need anything. I appreciate it. All right. There you go. Have a good night. Oh, dude, we got a playground. Can I swing? No, I can walk through it, though. Can I climb? No. Alright, so this is the motel that we gotta take care of, eh? Okay. Watering can. Do I gotta water the plants? I th think this is meant to have two different endings. I can't watch TV. Hello. Hi, I have a reservation under Evelyn. Certainly, Evelyn. I'll take you to your room. Follow me, please. Thanks. It's a bit late, isn't it? This place feels so quiet. Evelyn. Evelyn, room number one. You're number one. What's this? I cologne. Okay. You're number one. Come on, Evelyn. Bring you to your room. And here you go. Your room is just the same as the other guy, just mirrored. 
Enjoy your green screen TV. Here's your room, Evelyn. If you need anything or any issues, just call the front desk. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. The room seems nice. Well, it's not. It's haunted. Can I go on the road? Nope. Is there anything behind here? No. Ow, sorry. Just hit the microphone. Can't go through there. Oh, fuse box. I see. Oh, new customer. Oh, dang. We got Tokyo Drift Master up in here. Where's the... Oh. <laughs> Where's the door? Jeez, you, did you just run over here? Hi, my name's Scarlet. I have a reservation, right? Yes, Scarlet. Let me show you to your room. Great, lead the way. This place is kind of creepy, don't you think? Uh, yes, but in a fun way. Room 12. I keep wanting to press an escape to exit out of that. So I should have two more guests coming after her, right? I don't like how y'all snap your neck to look at me. Room 12? You gotta make me go upstairs, really? I don't get paid enough for this. There you go, Scarlet. This is your room, Scarlet. And if you have any qu requests or concerns, feel free to call the front desk. Got it. Let's hope I don't need to. Thanks. I wonder, can I go in anyone's room? I'm trying to see if I hear something. Doesn't seem like it. I better water the plants until the new customer arrives. There you go. Is it just those two? I haven't seen any other plants, so... Yeah. Guess it was just those two. Is there one back here, actually? Oh, there is. Just those three. I believe so. Nope. There, now is that all of them? Very dark. Anything behind the building? I don't know why there'd be plants back here, but... Oh, I think I got a customer. Oh, no, that's a swing. What the heck? Hey, Victor. Hey, what are you doing here? It's the middle of the night. Aren't you a little too old to be playing on a swing? Wow. Wow. Old. Who's counting the years anymore? Time stops here, in this place. <clears throat> what do you mean? Shouldn't you be in your room? Or home? Oh, I've been waiting here, watching. You've noticed it too, haven't you? Notice what? You're not making any sense. You'll see, soon enough. We all do, eventually. What are you talking about? What will I see? They always come, when the lights go out. Okay. Well, I got all the plants. Nah. I got it the first time. 
Go! Well, a new person. Let's get Scarlet off the computer here. Hello. Hi, I'm Lydia. Can you take me to my room, please? Of course, Lydia. I'll take you there right now. Follow me. Thank you. I just... I need to get settled quickly. Oh, well, you got someone coming? Room number 10. All right. So now there's only one more person left. Come on, Lydia. I liked you in The Walking Dead. Keep up. All right. And here's your room. Here's your room, Lydia. If you need anything or have any problems, just call us. Thank you. I, I will. Can you move, please? Thank you. And Victor's no longer on the swing. So what, did he, what does he mean by they come when the lights come off? Well, there's only one more customer I'm waiting for. Or guess, I should say. Am I on here? No, okay. Me. It's like Hotel California. Hi. He's parked sideways. Oh. He's coming for me. Well. Evening. My name's Damien. I think I have a room reserved near. Room 11. Yes, Damien. Follow me. I'll show you to your room. Perfect. Let's hope for a peaceful night. Let me just make sure it's room 11. <laughs> Finn. Okay, it is. Come on, Damien. You get to be beside Scarlet? Was it? Victor, Scarlet, Damien, Lydia. There you go. Here's your room. This is your room, Damien. Feel free to call the front desk if you need anything. Oh, I will, if necessary. Thanks. Okay. Everyone has to be so ominous. That is a loud phone. I'm coming. I can't run. It's the first day with my new feet. Good evening. This is the hotel kitchen. It's time for the dinner service. How many meals we prepare for our guests tonight? Good evening. We'll need five meals. Got it. Five meals. We'll have them ready and send them to the lobby in about 15 minutes. Perfect. Thanks. You're welcome. If there's anything else, feel free to give us a call. Do I have to wait 15 minutes? Oh, <laughs> I just noticed the Turkish guy there from the Olympics. Uh, Ronald? You have a gun in your hand? What's that? Hey, here are your meals. You ordered five in total. Thanks. You seem in a hurry. Yeah, the faster I finish, the quicker I can end my shift and get out of here. This place gives me the creeps at night. I get it. Same here. Anyway, thanks again. No problem. Take care. Wait, how do I... Do I just put it in front of their doors? What 
the heck? Good evening, Victor. Here's your dinner. Ah, finally. I'm starving. Thanks. No problem. If you need anything else, just give us a call. Will do. Enjoy the rest of your night. That was weird. Don't tell them it's on the floor. Uh, someone was in here, right? Oh, you scared me. Whoa, sorry, I was just about to knock. I guess I was a little too eager for my dinner. No harm done. Here's your meal. Thanks, and sorry about that. You really caught me off guard. It's alright. If you need anything else, just let me know. Will do. Have a good night. Slam the door in my face and then say that. Ronald, you good? Is that a croissant? Since when did McDonald's start selling croissants? Uh, someone's in seven, right? No. I know someone's in a... <clears throat> what? Someone's in ten? Oh, yeah. Well, here's your meal, Lydia. Oh, thank you so much. This place is so quiet, it's eerie. Yeah, it's definitely peaceful. If you need anything, feel free to call. Thanks, I will. Have a good night. Excuse me? Who's that? Okay, and now we'll get number 12. Number 12 ordered the number 2. All right. <clears throat> Dinner delivery, Scarlet. Thank you. I was just about to ask when I would arrive. Here you go. Let us know if you need anything. Sure thing. Enjoy your evening. So there's one more left, eh? Who was the other one? I could have sworn someone was in seven. Oh, there you go. Here's your data, Damien. Appreciate it. Took you long enough. Sorry for the wait. Anything else you need? Not for now, but I'll let you know. Wow. Arse. So, <clears throat> 12, 11, and 10 are taken. And then 7 and 1. Anyone else in the other ones? All right, Ronald, you're uh, good to go. All right, I delivered all the meals. Great, how did it go? Any issues? Not really, but one of the guests said they thought someone knocked on their door earlier. It wasn't me. Hmm, could have been another guess. These places can be trick can play tricks on your mind at night. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, thanks for the quick service. I'll be glad when my shift's over. I hear you. I've got one more round of deliveries, and I'm out of here, too. Hang in there. Will do. Have a good night. You, too. Stay safe out there. Out here. All right, Ronald. Thank you. Have a good night, buddy. All right. <clears throat> so, oh, what now? Power's out. You gonna say anything about that? What the heck are you? What? Okay. Well, I know where the fuse box is. Nice beard. Mr. Davis, what are you doing here? I didn't expect to see you. You actually scared me for a second. 
Oh, sorry about that. I didn't mean to. I'm staying in room three tonight. Just checking in on other... Th on things after the power went out. Right. I forgot you were staying here. Everything's fine now. I just had to reset the breakers. Good. Good. I was worried something more serious happened. The power can be tricky sometimes. Yeah, it's all sorted now. Well, since you're here, the reception desk looks a bit messy, don't you think? Could you tidy it up before the guests start noticing? Sure, I'll take care of it right now. Thanks. I'll head back to my room then. Let me know if anything else goes wrong. Oh, so you're the, uh, the owner? The heck is that? Uh... How? There's the broom and whatever this thing is. Yeah, that's clean. <clears throat> Nothing back here. Oh. That's everything. Hello? Is this the reception? I'm Scarlet in room 12. Listen, something strange just happened. While the power was out, someone tried to open my door. I thought it was you, but I didn't see anyone when I checked. That's unsettling. I'm really sorry about that. I'll come up right away and take a look. Okay, thank you, but please hurry. I feel really uneasy. Is that supposed to be a... What the heck? Hello? Who is this? Is this some kind of joke? If you're messing with me, stop now. Say something. Who are you? If you don't stop, I'm calling the police. This isn't funny anymore. Okay, well... <clears throat> I don't know if me answering the phone there might have just killed Scarlet. Scarlet, open the door. There's something wrong. I can't hear you. All right, I'm going to force it open. This. How could this be here? Maybe it'll come in handy, but I hope I don't have to use it. Scarlet! This has gone too... I can't handle this anymore. I need to get the reception and call the police right away. Really, you're not gonna... Okay, well, I got a gun. That's, uh, Damien, right? What if I talk to him? No? Okay. Thought you are going back to your room, but I guess not. Emergency services, what's going on? Someone's in one of the rooms. A woman is screaming for help. I think she's in danger. Where are you right now? I'm at the reception of Motel. Someone broke into her room. She's calling for help. Stay calm. We're sending officers now. Great, the power went out again. Is that Mr. Davis out there? Oh, okay. I didn't know I was supposed to press there. Why am I going so slow? the heck? What happened?
Really? I gotta do this again? Oh, but I'm moving so slow. Wow. I can't, I, why, I can't deal with that. I'm gonna have to reset the game. I'll be back, everyone. <clears throat> Actually, you know, uh, hello again. <laughs> One thing that would have been, uh, awesome is if you typed in Damien's name on the computer and he didn't pop up. He just came here to grab whatever room key was left. That would have been, uh, a little freaky. Because obviously, he's the guy that killed me there. Wasn't I wasn't expecting to press F. But now that I know, you, my friend, are going to get shot. I don't even get a moment's rest in this place. Alright, now we're going back up to Scarlet's room here and we are grabbing the gun. Almost seemed like at the end of the last interaction there, I had the bar at full, but I think I was just a little too late. Alright. There you go, we got the gun. Help! Help! Okay. Get back over there. It would be nice if uh, Mr. Davis over there would uh, assist me. I'm just sitting on the slide. Okay, call the police. Okay, officers on the way. Power's out. <laughs> And Damien is dead. It's finally over. I managed to survive. But Scarlet is still missing. The police will handle the rest now. I don't know what really happened tonight, but I know I'll never forget it. This place will always remind me of the fear, the danger, and how close I came to losing everything. Now I just want to leave this nightmare behind. A game by ice. Thank you for playing Night Reception. If you enjoyed the, the game and want to support me and make even better games, feel free to help me escape. My trusty old 1050 Ti Ti PC can support and make all the difference. Okay. Well, there you go, everyone. That was Night Reception. There is another game by the developer, and I am actually going to play that as well. But thank you all so much for watching this one. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe with the notification bell. And other than that, I will see you all next time. Take care. Well, I guess what I... Okay, hold on. I gotta get into the habit of this, but what did I think of this game? I enjoyed it. The story I was a typical hotel. Everyone shows up. There's a killer here, but I enjoyed it. Um, I kind of wish that there was a checkpoint after delivering the food. Because I had to redo all that again. And then also after I died, I was extremely slow. There was nothing I could do. Maybe a shift uh, sprint button would be good. Uh, maybe it doesn't have to last forever. But maybe it's just like a little, I don't know, five second sprint that you can use or something like that. But I did enjoy this. And I really hope you did as well. I'll see you all next time. Take care. Bye bye.